Hello reception. Before you watch this video on making a hedgehog house, make sure that you've watched the flipped classroom video about habitats. Okay, because you'll need to use all that knowledge that you learned about ha habitats in order to make your house. So make sure you watch that video before you do this lesson, okay? Okay, so to make your hedgehog's house, you're going to need to gather some things from around your house or from your garden if you have a garden, okay? So can you please go and find some paper, some colours, a box, so it could be a cereal box, or I'm just going to use a shoe box. Maybe some paints, if you've got some paints. Some tape or some glue. And some leaves and sticks from your garden. Okay, so can you pause the video and go and find all those things please. Good, well done. Okay, so now you're ready to make a hedgehog's house. So if you've got a box, that's great. If you don't have a box, it's okay. You can use paper, okay? So first I'm gonna show you how to do it with a box and then I'll show you how to do it on the paper, okay? So to make your hedgehog's house, we need to make him a door, okay? The first thing you do is you need a pen or a pencil and you need to draw on your door, onto your hedgehog's house, okay? Now, you could try and cut it out, uh, and it might be easy if you use a cereal box because the cardboard is thinner, okay? So you cut out your door. What Miss Lynch is going to do, she's going to use the lid as the door. So my door comes off, okay? But you could use, you could cut it out, or you could use a cereal box, it would be thinner, okay? So it's the first thing, it's because the hedgehog needs somewhere to go in. Now, if you remember the flipped classroom video, we know that a hedgehog likes to live somewhere dark and under bushes and under leaves. Okay, so right now I don't think the hedgehog would like to live in my box. So I need to make it look much more like his habitat. So what I need to do for that is I then need to decorate my box with leaves and sticks. And you can use your tape or your glue to stick them on. If you don't have tape or glue, maybe you've got paint. So if you paint your hedgehog's box, you could then stick the leaves on the wet paint. And when it dries, the leaves will stick on too, okay? So there's lots of different ways you can decorate your hedgehog's house. Okay, if you don't have a box or you couldn't find a box, so long as you have paper, we can do the same thing, okay? So you might need to use lots and lots of paper and stick some pages together, but you could draw your hedgehog's house, okay? So you could draw the house. So you can make a plan. And then, can you see that? So I'm going to draw the, the house. And I'm going to draw, have a door. And then when I've got a cereal box or I've got a box, I can make it. But you could also decorate your picture, okay? So you could stick lots of leaves onto your picture and make a picture out of leaves. So if you're going to use a box, we need to make sure we cover it with leaves and then we need to make sure we put lots of sticks on it as well. Okay, so if you don't have any sticks or any leaves, you can also use your paper to make some. So how we do that is you need, you need your pen. You might also need a scissors, okay? But don't worry, if you don't have a scissors, there's another way of doing it too. So, you could draw some leaves on your paper. Okay, so I'm just going to draw a big leaf like this. Can you see? And then I drew the little stick, like that. And then, I think, what colour are the autumn leaves? So I could do red, I could do brown, I could do orange, or I could do a leaf that isn't, doesn't change colour. So I could do an evergreen tree's leaf and make it green. So for this one, I'm going to make it brown, okay? 
so I need to colour it in brown. Right, I think you would do much better colouring than this sketch. Okay, so once I've coloured it in, then I'm going to cut it out and I can make lots and lots of leaves like that and decorate my hedgehog's house. Okay, so I'll cut it out. So I remember to use my scissors properly and I cut it out. I cut it out really carefully, taking my time to make sure I do it properly. And then I've got it out. Okay, so I could make brown leaves, yellow leaves, all the different autumn colours. And I could stick them then onto my box or onto my plan of my hedgehog's house. Okay, and when you've done that, then what you need to do is once your house is all decorated, you need to hide it. If you've got a garden, hide it somewhere in your garden that's dark, in the bushes, and then keep an eye to see if you see a hedgehog. Okay, but remember, hedgehogs might be sleeping in the daytime. So you might need to have a little peek out of the window at night time. Or maybe if you're very brave, go outside and have a look when it's dark. Okay, but put your hedgehog house somewhere where it, where it's hidden in the garden. If you don't have a garden, maybe we can keep it and we can hide it in school when you come back to school. Okay, I can't wait to see all of your amazing hedgehog houses, whether you do the plants or you do a box on tapestry okay so make sure you share it on tapestry and then tell me if you're going to bring it to school or if you've hidden it in your garden well done can't wait to see them take care